I've got this message and I need to finish it. Now that I understand what happened. Hallelujah. So, here we go. We're Zechariah 4. And the angel that talked with me came again and walked with me as a man that wakes out of his sleep. I always say that walk with me. And he dies. The angel that talked with me came again and waked me as a man that is wakened out of his sleep and said unto me, What do you see? And I said, I looked and behold a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and the seven lamps thereof, and the seven pipes to the seven lamps, which were upon the top thereof. And the two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. Verse 4. So I answered, and I spoke to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these things, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, and I like this, this is verse 5, such grace. No, if you know what these things are. And I said, No, my Lord. And then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone, thereof with shoutings, crying, Grace, grace unto it. Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me, verse 8, saying, verse 9, judgment, whether positive or negative. The hand of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. For who has despised this day of small things? For they shall rejoice and see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. And then answered I and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlestick and upon the left? Eleven. And I also answered again, he said unto and said unto him in verse twelve, what be these two olive branches, which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered and said in verse 13, the number of rebellion, Don't you know what these things be? And I said, No, my Lord. And then he said, These are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord the whole earth. In worship this morning, Hallelujah. pleasant fragrance of his spirit. He is a pleasant fragrance unto all nations. And then when I decided to look it up, to confirm, Sister Girl in here wrote down these scriptures for me. Out of Song of Solomon. And Genesis, I will start there at the better call. Genesis 27, 27. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelt the smell of his raiment and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. And Solomon 1, 3, 
because of the Savior, the savor of the good ointments, the name Yeshua is an ointment poured forth. Therefore, do the virgins love thee. Solomon 2.14 Oh, my dove, you are in the cleft of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs. Let me see your countenance. Let me hear your voice. And your countenance is comely, O Lord. When he lifts up his countenance upon us, he's not looking down at us. He's lifting us up that we behold his countenance upon us. <laughs> we lift you up, my Father. Yeshua, bless you. Fill us today with your oil. Gather, he said to gather the vessels. And I knew he didn't mean jars. He means candlesticks. Come one, come all to the gathering. He's coming. I bless you, Jesus. I'm just going to read the intro to Zechariah. So I guess there will be enough time in the video before it cuts off. A dozen years or more, the task of rebuilding the temple has been half completed. Zechariah is commissioned to God to encourage the people in their unfinished responsibility, the heart. We must circumcise the heart, amen? Rather than exhorting them to action with strong words of rebuke, Zechariah seeks to encourage them to action by reminding them of the future importance of the temple. The temple must be built, for one day Messiah's glory will inhabit it. The future blessing is a contingent upon present obedience. The people are not merely building a building, they're building the future. With what? With that as their motivation, they can enter into the building project with wholehearted zeal, for their Messiah is coming. He asked me to fast from something for three days, and I get it. I'm willing. <laughs> Waking up with a humble, submissive heart, full of joy. Oh. Praise be to Most High. I hope this encourages you all. Shine. We circumcise our heart. And his oil flows in, cleanses all the issues of our heart. And out of our mouth will flow like living water, out of our bosom, rivers of living water, like, like, like, like a crest crashing into us, just oil, waves of anointing. Hallelujah. Beloved, just receive. Feathers everywhere. Where the meat is, the eagles will gather. Meat indeed. John 6.55, for Yeshua said, My body is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. <laughs> Fill me full today. Fill us all full. Hello. What word was spoken then manifest? He dwells among us and in us. So we empty our vessels of our own stuff. He purifies us. I had to talk, talk. He sees our light shining here. Come, Messiah, come. Let him see you shine with love for him. 
Arkam geldi dedi. İş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, iş, i